St. Graham Productions. some help. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you. Kill it, right? Aye. Bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. What kind of beasts could do this? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limb. Well, that Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Rudd's cutthroats was there to shed blood. I spoke up then. Rudd gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. It's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... 
I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havelmedic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned with it. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else, and I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. No more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? I don't know, sir. Well, that's a great pity. Not knowing could cost us dear. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out as soon as possible and put an end to them. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick, with no time to spare. I'll be with you. Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. 
I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Roger. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get here. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old rear, or by a narrow bridge over a deep pit. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option. It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march! Advance! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side as oh, many of yeah. you as possible! And hold your position there!
I will cleave you into you, bastard. I tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me. I remember you, though. Well, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're on about? Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. His last time was too. say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Neuhoff. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? <laughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today.
It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir.